Joining us now, a Democratic Congressman Ro Khanna of California is a member of the Oversight Committee. Congressman, thanks for joining us. Well, it's great to be back on. Let's begin with the latest departure from President Trump's cabinet. Does Alex Acosta still need to testify before the House Oversight Committee despite his resignation? He does, because Americans are concerned that there are two different types of Justice Department. Uh, justice for those who are rich, like Epstein, and get away with something of a 13-month sentence for trafficking in uh, sex offense, uh, and others who get uh, long jail sentences for marijuana offenses. So Acosta needs to explain why that discrepancy exists. CNN has also learned, Congressman, that, that the director of national intelligence, Dan Coats, you just heard, uh, Jim Acosta's report might also be on his way out. What impact would that departure have on President Trump's overall national security team? Well, it's concerning because this president has a pattern of removing those who stand up to him or give him any information which he disagrees with. He got rid of Mattis because Mattis was standing up to him. We, with Shanahan, uh, Shanahan, there was the scandal that was in part leaked because Shanahan may not have su supported the president. And Coates has had the uh, temerity to sometimes question the president. So we see that the president just wants yes people around him. The House Oversight Committee held a hearing today on family separations and conditions at various migrant detention facilities on the southern border. Lawmakers became very emotional and at times very angry, as did the former uh, acting ICE director, Tom Homan, uh, who was a witness at the hearing. I want you to watch a little bit of this. I've sat here and listened to horror stories. I thought it was fiction. I thought it was a novel reading from Charles Dickens and the conditions that prevailed 19th century London. Children without soap, children in filth, conditions that none of us would ever countenance with our own children. Well, any child in our care is our children. Let me explain to you why I'm sitting here so frustrated. Because I'm the only one in this room who's wore a green uniform and been on that line. I'm the only one in this room who's found dead aliens on a trail that were abandoned by smugglers who just left them there because they weren't worth any money anymore. I'm the only one in this room that stood in the back of a tractor trailer surrounded by 19 dead aliens, including a five-year-old little boy that suffocated in death in his father's arms. I was there, and I saw, and I smelled it, and it's terrible. And I still, I still have nightmares to this day. Congressman, you were at the uh, hearing. Is your committee getting the answers you need from the administration about its policies on the border, especially impacting these kids? No, we're not. And Tom Homan was a badgering witness. He wasn't answering the questions. He was interrupting Gerald Connolly. He was interrupting Ayanna Presley. He wasn't answering the basic question that all Americans, regardless of party, want to know. Why can't we get these kids food? Why can't we get them blankets? Why can't we get them access to a doctor? We're not talking about anything more than upholding basic human rights, frankly, upholding basic moral principles rooted in faith.